everyone. My name is David, and I'm, and I'm a consultant for Red Hat. Hi, I'm Steve. I'm also a consultant for Red Hat. And today, we're going to be talking to you guys about Istio on OpenShift. So, Seal, I hear you're helping a client migrate their applications onto OpenShift. How's that going? It's actually going pretty good. Um, we're actually breaking down all their map monolith applications into small microservices. Microservices are pretty cool, right? They are pretty good. Um, we're running into a lot of growing pains right now. And so what's ending up happening is that we started out with a few microservices, but now we have hundreds of microservices, and it becomes a total nightmare to manage all of them. And especially whenever we update or change something in the application, we don't know what all the dependencies are, and it breaks the entire thing. Sounds like you can really benefit from a service mesh. This is Istio. What exactly is a service mesh? Right. So the term service mesh is used to describe the network um, of microservices and interactions between them that make up your application. Normally, as the number of microservices goes up, it becomes harder and harder to understand and manage them individually. So a service mesh such as Istio provides you the tools to uh, efficiently manage and secure your existing fleet of microservices. Okay, so what does Istio consist of? Yeah, so one of the main components of Istio is the Envoy proxy. All microservices deployed within Istio has an Envoy proxy deployed alongside it. I've actually heard of Envoy proxy before. I know it's a high performance uh, proxy that provides things such as service discovery, TLS termination, circuit breakers, and among other things. You're right. Uh, but there's actually more to uh, Istio than just the Envoy proxy. There's actually a whole control plane that is, is responsible for uh, things such as routing, monitoring, and security. So how would you go about routing Istio? Yeah, so good question. Uh, Pilot and uh, Envoy, they work together for the routing component. So let's imagine you had a microservice and you wanted 95% of the traffic to go to version one and the other 5% to go to version two. So this could be something uh, for something such as a canary release. Or if you had a microservice and you wanted all types of a, a requests to go to version one and different types to go to version two. So you can use uh, Pilot to publish those routing rules and configure each Envoy proxy individually. You can also leverage Pilot in your software development and testing uh, stages because it provides features such as circuit breaking and fault injection. Okay. So what if I wanted to monitor or get telemetry data, how would I do that? Yeah, so uh, Mixer is a component for that. So uh, uh, when the Envoy proxies are talking to each other, they actually first call Mixer uh, for policy checking. And then after the request is complete, it calls Mixer again to report back telemetry data. So with, uh, with Mixer, you can, uh, you can ensure that you have a very granular control over, over which microservices talk to which other microservices, as well as gathering a wealth of telemetry data back, such as logging, metrics, and monitoring. Uh -huh. Security is pretty important nowadays. How does security work here? Yeah, you're totally right. Uh, security is an important aspect of any good service mesh. And Istio uh, does that by enforcing mutual TL, uh, TLS on your microservices. So that all traffic, uh, go, uh, all traffic uh, going from one microservice to another microservice is automatically encrypted and decrypted, like removing the burden from the actual application developer. And this is all done with the help of Citadel, which provides a key and certificate management. So with Citadel, you can ensure that only the correct people are accessing and managing Istio, as well as ensuring that your microservice to microservice traffic is secure. So most of our applications are deployed onto OpenShift right now. So would I have to migrate those applications to use Istio? Not at all. So uh, Istio was originally built on top of Kubernetes, which means that it easily fits into a platform such as OpenShift. How can I get it started, David? <laughs> yes. So, so to get started, contact your uh, Red Hat account executive to learn more about Istio or the uh, Red Hat product called OpenShift Service Mesh.